one of Singapore's most popular Class 2A utility machine now gets some goodies. The 2022 Yamaha X-Max 300 SP. Want some goodies for yourself? Come over to the National Bikers Weekend happening from the 4th to the 6th of November at B Maki Downtown East and catch us at our booth. We are launching newly designed t-shirts and restock items. Wanna see? Come on, don't say bo chill. <laughs>
the turning radius of the bike is small for its class. In our opinion, the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP makes for the perfect city bike. She's more than powerful enough for highway or city riding, and riding her was super easy, all thanks to its low center of gravity and its automatic gearbox. Twist and go. Total response was good, and we have to say that the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP felt sportier than most scooters we have tried on and off the channel. Something about the gearing that's different with the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP. Handling felt tight and very light, despite its 179 kilo bulk. The 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP was effortless in tight turns, in alley streets, and super flickable. Having a keyless ignition means convenient and quick access to the machine and faster move offs. But the left glove compartment cannot be opened with the engine turned on. You have to turn the dial to the open position shutting the engine off in the process to gain access. Funny, right? Starting from 13,000 Singapore dollars before COE and insurance, the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP is definitely priced a little higher than the base model, but you get upgraded shocks, a different paint job, and an upgraded seat. We definitely felt the difference in the upgraded Olin's dual shock. Being fully adjustable, we could dial the shocks in to behave exactly the way we wanted them to. Very okay! But Mark mentioned that because the rear was performing so well, he felt that the front was lacking. Maybe an upgraded Olin spoke in the next release? The seat on the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP. Woo! The seat, the upgraded comfort seat feels firmer and larger than the stock, but it provided so much more support. Super comfortable, super okay, like T-Max. Leg room on the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP was superb, even for riders with our height. But you might have to swap out the stock handlebar for a higher one we felt the stock bar was a little too low. The X-Max is known to have a bar clamp under the cover, so options of handlebars are huge. We were a little let down with the design of the dash. It was nice when Yamaha first brought the X-Max into Singapore, but being a 2022 model, we were hoping for an update, especially since the design of the 2022 Yamaha X-Max 300 SP is pretty sporty. We were also hoping for a motorized windshield. But third-party options are available, along with a boatload of options. Being a popular model has its perks. Just be sure to check with the local authorities on legal limitations. The 2022 Yamaha X-Max 300 SP runs pretty silent with its stock exhaust. Let's have a listen. We didn't notice any heat at stop go, city, or highway riding. Very okay. Overall, the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP is suited excellently for the city streets. Newer riders will want to be cautious handling the machine. While handling is super easy, you still have 27 horses in the throttle. Experienced riders can look forward to ample power from a city machine.
having endless aftermarket options may be an adventure for some. We got the 2022 Yamaha XMAX 300 SP from Revology Private Limited. But as with all our reviews, they do not have control over our content, allowing us to bring you true and unbiased opinions. With that, I'm Winston and see you on the road.